Hey there folks, Paul Markle from Student of the Gun and I've teamed up with Ready Man and Juxi for a battle box unopening. So let's open this sucker up. There we go. This is mission number. First things first, what do we do? Put our knife away. Then we find the insert, the battle box insert that comes in every single battle box as we know. This is mission 92 briefing, the mission pre brief number 92. Hey buddy, fall weather is here, cooler weather is on the way. It's time for your adventure. All right, it's time for an adventure. Basic, battle box basic. Battle box trail markers, 10 count. All right, so let's reach in here. Here we go. Battle box high visibility trail markers. Why would we need something like this? Well, if you've ever spent any time in the woods, and I have, what you should know and what you'll realize very quickly, if you're making your own trail or if you're following a trail that splits, if you're following a game trail, often the trail on the way back looks a little bit different than on the way in. Especially if you went in in the dark or in under dusk or maybe you went in and it was bright daylight and now you're coming out and you're using a flashlight to get out. So these little turkeys right here are highly reflective they're trail markers. They've got a little clip on them, so you can clip them on branches or brush or whatever you want to do. Uh, or if you're trying to show someone else, if you say, hey, go to this one spot, where is that spot? Well, start right here, follow the trail markers, you'll get to that spot. So, uh, yeah, these are handy dandy. They weigh almost nothing. They weigh maybe, all of these together weigh, maybe weigh I don't know, an ounce or two, couple of ounces. So there you go. Battle box trail markers, uh, 10 of them. So that's, that's something for hunting and adventures and backpacking and so forth. All right, so we'll set these aside. What is next? The PFC aerosol earth scent. All right, and it is a can. It is a lubricant protectant with earth cover. Lubricates in extreme cold. High performance protectant, non toxic, solvent free, lanolin based. And essentially, this is a, I've used gear lubricant that doesn't smell like a, for years, I've used gear lubricant that doesn't smell like a science experiment. I've had first hand experience with scent spooking game. So essentially, this is a lubricant that you can use that doesn't have a, stink that smells like your garage all right there you go psc protection first class earth scent lubricant can it right there all right next gear aid camo form reusable fabric where is that ah yes i remember this i've seen this previously this is let's go ahead and pull it out of the package so you guys can see it so this is a reusable camouflage. Find the edge of it right there. It's kind of, if you guys have ever done medical training and you know what Coban is, this is, it looks like it feels, it feels like Coban. If you wanted to camouflage up your bow or your rifle or your shotgun, but you didn't want to have to spray paint it or Duracoat it or whatever, then you wanted to be able to take it off. There you go. And according to this, it, it is residue free, it conceals and it protects. So this is two inches by 144 inches. The Gear Aid Camo Form Reusable Camouflage. I've used this in the past and uh, it's pretty handy, especially if you want to change from green to brown to white or something like that. There you go. All right, set that aside. So, oh, and one more thing, one more thing. Where is it? Ah, a Fox Americas FE043 folding knife. 
and this has a micarta frame lock folder. Let's open this guy up. Very nice, very nice. So, has a clip for your pocket, hump right there, push the hump, open it up, and I'm missing a lot of hair on my forearms. Yep, it is shaving sharp, out of the box. Fox Edge folding knife right there. Get the hairs off of it. Has a little bit of heft to it, not too much heft, but you know you're holding something when you hold on to this guy. It says it is designed for Fox Knives by Russ Comer. It is the perfect get down and dirty EDC knife. My car to scales, handy pocket clip, and 8CR13MOV steel. And they're calling that finish they're calling that a stone wash finish. So there you go. All right. So that is it for the basic box. So if you order the basic box, that is the kit that you're going to get in the basic box. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to the advanced box. The Climate Traverse Hammock. It says, I absolutely love using hammocks while lounging in the woods. They're quick and easy to set up. Take up very little space in your pack. The Climate all right, here we go. Let's go ahead and pull this guy out. I'm not going to set up a hammock in the garage here. But, uh, you can trust me. All right, this total weight uh, for this is one pound and eight ounces. This weighs one pound and eight ounces. It says that it will hold up to a 400 pound uh, person or persons. So that's that's pretty good. A lot of the the cheap ones, the cheap hammocks you get at the stores say that they only hold like 200 pounds or something. That doesn't do you much good if you're more than 200 pounds. So, and it comes with the straps. Yes, it comes with the straps. A lot of the, uh, a lot of the hammocks that are out there uh, just tell you to use your own rope or your own 550 cord, but this one actually comes with two straps, one for the head and one for the feet. You got the hammock here and what else is in this bag here we go aluminium carabiners on each end so each end they're already set up for the straps so there we go that is this is the climate single hammock will hold up to 400 pounds and this will add an extra one pound and eight ounces to your pack so that's the advanced box. Now the pro, and to get to the pro one, I'm gonna have to dig a little bit. So, so bear with me for a second. The pro is the gear scope breakdown bow. Break it down for me, baby. All right, here we go. The gear scope survival bow and arrow set. Not intended for persons under 18. And, and it says, do not point this bow at any living thing. Well, if it's a survival bow, that and you're trying to use it to take game, well, I'm not sure how that works, but all right. So here we go. Get this out, it says, there is the kit. It comes in a kit right like this. So it is, it's not super compact, but obviously it's way more compact than a bow would be. it up what do we have well we have the riser and the grip right here we have the grip portion like so oh, I'll get it we have the grip portion right there then we have we have one limb and I'm going to assume that the limbs are identical. We have one limb there. We have one limb here. So for a total of two limbs. And then, so we'll set that aside. Now there's got to be. Aha, here we go. Here is our string and our hardware. I'm not going to dump all that out. There's string and hardware and there are broadheads and a wrench in here so you have string hardware let me reach in there and see if i can get the broadheads out without cutting myself aha there we go 
So it says it's a survival bow. Hill. There is one of the broadheads that comes with it. So that is a very sharp, no kidding broadhead. All right. And it comes with the string and it comes with the wrench and it comes with all the hardware you need to assemble it. All right. Here's your instruction card. What's actually really nice is it's a one piece instruction card. So it should not be that hard for you to put this together. You'd be like Rambo and Rambo, was it three? Rambo 2, I guess it was Rambo 2 when he's out there putting his, I don't think it comes with exploding tips when he's out there putting his bow together. And, well, of course if you're gonna have a bow, you gotta have arrows. So bing, bam, boom. Here are your carbon, I believe they're, they're carbon arrows. And they're fletched. Well, there you go, That is that is really cool. I'm looking forward to getting out to the uh, out in the field and trying that out. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. We'll see how it works. All right, so that is the advanced box. No, no, that's not the advanced. That's the pro, sorry. So we went through the basic, the advanced, and the pro. Now, as you guys know, with BattleBox, they have a pro plus, a pro plus. So what is the last thing in the pro plus? It is a WOX Wooks. A uh, bad boy knife. It's a Wooks bad boy knife, perfect for EDC or essential carry. Compact fixed blade with American walnut handle. All right, from there we go. It says it's a bad boy. Pull this guy out of here. And ah, uh, very nice, very nice high end. What is it walnut handle? Walnut handle, stainless steel blade, and I feel certain that it is exceedingly sharp. From, I don't know if it's Wooks or Wooks. Wooks, W-O-O-X, the bad boy. And it has jimping or knurling on the back for your thumb, so on and so forth. Or you could do this with it, there you go. And it has essentially a basic not fancy, just a basic leather, uh, basic leather sheath. So you put it in this way or that way. There you go. All right. A lot of get outside and hunt and enjoy the outdoor stuff in the Mission 92 box. This is Mission 92 uh, from Battle Box. I'm Paul Markle with Student of the Gun, and thank you to Juxy and Ready Man for letting me review this box. Remember. You're a beginner once, a student for life.